one minute away from meeting the team. I know, it's fast, it's furious. We got volleyball, 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 all of them. Okay, and a walk. Oh, we walk. We're just coming on you down here in Huntington Beach. We're on the north side of the Huntington Beach here. Surf City, USA right now with Beach Volleyball City, USA. This is the FIDB Huntington Beach Open, presented by ABP, the first stop here at 2018 ABP. with these two teams and now they battle for the podium to make a bronze medal here in Huntington Beach. The first team, the ladies from Canada. Lucky enough to hang out with them over the last year as they now live in Hermosa Beach. A couple of the sweetest players you'll ever meet. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, they are fierce competitors out of Toronto. Last year's most improved player and she just keeps getting better and better and better. She is Melissa Humana Paredes. incredible defender, the top team out of a country with a ton of good volleyball teams in Germany. She's got two gold medals on the FIDB World Tour out of shoot guard. Give it up for Chantal Labora. And her partner at six feet one out of Friedrichshafen comes from a family of beach volleyballers, her father, known in Germany as Mr. Volleyball. Well, then this is Miss Volleyball. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Julia Suda. All right, all right, we are back at it on stadium court for our first bronze medal match of the day. Das Germans against the Canadians, eh? You know it, Tri. <laughs> we got, got Kate Schulk here and Tri Born on the mic. And Melissa Humana Paredes back to serve. This is going to be a good match. These girls are going to be fighting with everything to get this medal. Here we go. To the right sider, Julia Sude. She goes back, brings the heat, but Melissa Humana Paredes is there and she puts it down. Melissa. First point goes to Canada. Nice little dig there, and she kind of held a little bit, waited for Chantal Labour to move. Chopped that into the angle. Nice shot by Melissa Humana Perez. Julia Sude staying on the right this time. Can't get it past the block, but her partner's there to cover her. Chantal going low off the block and covers herself. And the beautiful oh, tricky, tricky, tricky. over on two Julia play. Suda. Great court awareness there for Julieta to recognize the open court. Sneaky little play there, catching the Canadians off balance. Smart play by Yulia. Here we go, Chantal. Float serve going up the middle. 
Humana Paredes takes it. Drives it up the middle, but a nice step by Chantal. And she puts it down. I like that adjustment. A little bit of a miss hit in the deep, deep part of the court, but that'll work. Looks like she was going, coming hard to hit angle. Uh, Sarah Pavin moved into it maybe a little early, um, but more it was just a really nice, uh, nice vision and miss hit by Chantal. Melissa out of the middle. And she nice delivers. shot right there. Good one, timing. One thing you'll notice with the, this German team, Yulia Sude is an excellent hand setter um, as we're looking at the replay here of a nice pass and chop into the corner. Um, so they'll run a little bit of uh, offense, I think, with Chantel, kind of moving it around. You'll see her do a little bit of different things and receive. So watch for her to make a little moves, especially with Sarah blocking. They're going to try to get her moving a bit. So nice serve there by Sarah Pavin. A bit of a break. Here we go. Canada up 3-2 early here in this bronze medal match. We got a net on the Germans there as the Canadians keep it alive. The ball goes tight, but reel in the Germans into the net like a fish. Good little run by Sarah Pavin. Serving mostly on Yulia Sude so far. Pavin's See if they continue with that. And they do. Sude up tight. Goes wrist away down the line. Looking for a touch and they get it. Small little touch there on Sarah Pavin. Nice shot. Ton of matches for both of these teams this week. They're going to be leaving it all out there for this last match. Bronze medal on the line. I believe this is the seventh match for Canada and the eighth match for the Germans. Nice block. That one's kind of half in the net and half blocked by the Germans. It's a good looking it. block though. She was in the in the face of Melissa anyways. Let's see if she gets a real block. Maybe she might have had it a piece, little bit. Yeah. You definitely claim that so you oh, get yeah. the stat. Here we go. Uh, Julia out of the middle. Nice adjustment there. Sude got kind of caught in no man's land. She couldn't really decide as we watch here. She couldn't really decide if she wanted to stay up or not. She kind of half dropped. And Melissa beat her. More of a decisive offensive play there. Staying on Sude. They push it out to the pin. She tries to go cross court, but Melissa stays home, digs it nicely. And Jumbo, wow, that's so pretty. A nice deep shot there by Melissa Humana Paredes on a good dig. That's what you want to do. You want to keep the pressure on the Germans, keep moving them around, see if they stay on Yulia Sude here. Yep, they stay on her. It's been working. She tries to go back here, change it up on the defense. Not a great hit angle. Easy dig for Melissa, but Sude dives to the line or makes a move. And she delivers just out of bounds. Falling back, made the right shot. That's a tough one to swallow. Down 7-4, taking a timeout. Canada's playing well. They're making a lot of good reads defensively. Melissa's picked up a few. Yeah. You know, looks like Germany might be a little bit low on energy so far. I'm not going to lie. I think uh, Sude looks a little tired. It's been yeah. a long, long week. It has been. They've played uh, one more match than the Canadians have. And of course, if you just making the semifinal, you're going to play two extra matches no matter what, whether it's the gold or the bronze medal match. But I agree, they, they look a little flat, and it's been hard for Julia to get her feet to the ball. And they're the one of the type of teams that's going to move it around a lot. So that'll take a little energy out of you. I think maybe if they simplify things, get a little more placement, and, and make the defense make plays rather than kind of playing into them. Looks like Melissa's getting digs, but she's not having to move much for it. Yeah, and she's kind of, you know, half speed shots into the defender. So she's going to want to refresh, refocus, start making some good crisp shots, maybe unload on a couple, open up the court a little bit for her. Let's we'll see if uh, Melissa stays on Julia here. This is where you got to dig deep. Hey, there we go. The defender staying at the net and getting the block. Good block by Chantal there. She tried to force the on two a little bit. Check out this net replay. 
Just picking the right spot against the 6-5 block. That's a big play at this point. I mean, 8-4 to 7-5 is a huge block, so good play by Chantal Labarreur. Melissa coming to the middle. Nice play there. You notice how Melissa didn't mean to, to push that pass over to the right side, but you hear her talk to her partner, I'm with you. It's basically just telling your partner, here, make the easy set. I'm coming to you. We'll work from this side of the court. Pavin. Sarah Pavin. Serving it up. It's a nice chop into the angle. That's, that's more of what you want to see from Yulia Sude. Good pass, great set by Chantel. And then she's kind of waiting behind the ball and chopping it away from her body instead of into the angle where Melissa was standing. Yeah, I agree. She's got to keep it in her wheelhouse. She's got such a heavy hand and a good arm. Just challenge the defense. Make them make good plays. Here we go, Sude back on the line, going with the jump serve. Up the middle, hubby wife. It's a great Little communication serve. error. They're gonna give a free ball back, and Chantal, whoa, moving around a lot, and it works here. And that's what I was talking about earlier a little bit. She fakes that she's going out to the pin, comes to the middle, makes the block a little bit off balance, and snaps it down the line. Chantal Labber is a very physical player. She's strong, jumps really well using that feet, that footwork to get a good high swing on that. Very nice play. Here's Melissa. And again, she gets the defense. Just has such good patience. She watches, waits to see what, what the defense is doing. You have to be so good. If you're gonna come in and, and shoot a lot, you gotta have great vision. Yeah, she's basically just holding and waiting for Labber to make the move. I think uh, Chantel's moving just a tiny bit early as yeah. well if, if for that move. So Melissa's having a nice little easy shoot around right now. There we go. The Germans put it down in transition. They are kind of always in it. Such a scrappy team. Yeah, they're, they're never going to give up. And they just work super hard. You can tell they work super hard. So another good block there by Sarah Pavin. Pavin not a really up. a huge part of the match quite yet. You know, she, her presence is always felt out there. The Germans have been trying to keep it out of her hands and not get blocked by her, obviously. And there we go, Melissa takes that one out of the middle. Yeah. Having to hit there, but a still. Nice shot. Still, she doesn't have Sarah to bring the heat. Metal. She just has good timing, Sarah good location. Check out this replay. Off the net, but perfect location. That's like a 70% swing for her. Sarah Pavin back to serve. Goes aggressive, but just misses. Having into the net. Sude back to serve. Bit of a feel out here at the start of the first set. Little tentative, couple of tentative plays by both teams. See if they get in a little bit more of a groove here. We got Melissa Humana Paradis back to serve. Here's Sude from the right. And that one goes off of Pavin. Pavin not able to impose her will on this match quite yet, but staying solid so far. Yeah, good battle so far. We're gonna take a look at the stats here really quick. Uh, both teams are kind of pushing each other back and forth. Seems like uh, both uh, Melissa and Yulia are getting served most of the balls. Um, with the other players actually haven't taken any serves, I don't think, but. And there uh, it is. Both teams uh, seated very high and uh, high ranking in the world. It's unbelievable to see Ju uh, Julia and Chantal from Germany uh, so high in the world rankings and they're so young. They've been playing together for years. Back in 2012, I remember I was traveling on the New Zealand tour with them. Uh, and they were still just a qualifier team and they've climbed the rankings slowly but surely. And uh, same as uh, Melissa, just on the North Seca tour a few years ago. I leave in 2016 and missed last year and all of a sudden she's a top defender in the world. Yeah, it's crazy how fast things can change and how, how much confidence you can get or just yeah. even just finding the right partner to play with, it just changes everything. So we have Chantal Laberer back to serve. Nice break there by the defender, Chantal. And another one from Melissa. Both exchanging cut shots, 
Germany's going to get another shot, and she does. It's a great shot to finish that round like that. Good defensive plays there on both sides. I like the timing that Laberer had on that late line move. So Sarah did not see it until it was too late. So she chopped it down the line, and, and Chantal was just on time to make that dig. Great defensive play. French fries on the board, 11 all. Ooh, that one drops. The top serve. Taking the lead, Germany. 12-11 in this bronze medal match. Lots of pressure on a bronze medal match, maybe just as much as on a gold medal match. You, last thing you want to do in a tournament is play an extra match and not even end up on the podium. Bit of a tight pass there. It looked like she received it well, but just pushed it up a little too much. Pavin, Pavin didn't have a play on it, really, and sued with a good, uh, Sude with a good block at the net. Tough run for the Canadians. Need to kind of refocus here out of this timeout, refresh their minds, and just kind of start fresh. It's early still, only down two, so not a big deal. That's a tough play there by Pavins. Not only do you have to try to get it over the net, but you, you have to stop your momentum from going into the net. And we've, seen, we've seen from the Canadians, I mean, when they're passing and setting well, they're unstoppable. I, I, I honestly feel like their side out is, is, is the best in the world when they're on the net. But a little bit of a question is when they're not si when they're not passing as well as they could. Pavin sprayed a few balls, and, and Melissa's a really, really strong passer, good ball control player, but when the passing set gets away from them a bit, that's when they're in a bit of trouble. See if they can come out of this timeout and uh, sort out the passing a little bit. Yeah, I think if Melissa can stay steady, pass, like you said, she's gonna get, she's gonna do a good job of, of putting balls down when she needs to. This team is great and winning medals when Sarah Pavin's instilling her will. I'd like to see her uh, step up at the end of this match, and I think they come out on top if she does. Definitely. The Germans are not going to let up, though. Here's a chance for Pavin to do something, and she does. It's a good, smart shot. Maybe that gets her going. Maybe this drifted, drifted in a tiny bit, right. but that's a good pass on that one. You know, they're moving the ball around a lot. Sarah's at least giving an opportunity to get a good swing there, and she's going to put that away most of the time. So. Maybe a little bit of a miscue on the defense there. For sure. Here we go. Pavin going at Sude. They're in a little bit of trouble off the net. Pavin drops. And a big point scored there. That kind of situation, you drop, make them make a really tough swing. They have to choose, are they going to hit it at you? Good chance you're going to dig it, or are they going to go for lines and there's a chance to hit it out? That time it goes out, and Pavin's back on the line, tied up, 13 all. Ooh, good touch. It's a good chase. How I mean, difficult is it, Cam? You're a defender, world-class defender. How difficult is it to chase this ball when you're breaking towards the line, but it's all the way in the corner rather than just in the line? And that's that's the biggest difference, right? You, if it's just an, an over-line shot, not right in the corner, you can get that ball. But because Sude puts that right in the corner, that's such a difficult ball to get. That's why you teach those little corner drills when you're training. You, know, you find those spots every time. Got to be perfect in a match like this. And that's a good swing right there. It's something that Johnny Hyden's an unbelievable at. You know, you play that, that right. drill with him at the beginning of practices where yeah. put a towel on the corner and you'll hit it 10 times in a row. And you're yeah. like, okay, this guy's got the touch. Yeah, my ex partner uh, knew how to do it. It's like basketball. You're just basically just shooting, shooting hoops all Free day. Free throws. Yeah. Free throws, yeah. Here we go. Sude from the right. And Pavin shows up big just in time. That's like a double point. You get a little momentum because you're literally Absolutely. imposing your physical prowess. Way over the, the net, the pressing ball. into the angle. You never want to hit and then get hit in the face right yeah. away from him. It's just him. like, I got blocked and I got hit in the face. That's tough. See how Yulia Sude comes out of this? Because I'm certain that Melissa Humana Paredes is going to serve her again here. See if Sarah Pavin can get in her face again here. Canada needs Pavin to stay on top of them, stay aggressive, and what does she do? Delivers for me. And that's, you know, tough play before that, and, and, and then you follow it up with a, with a pass that's sprayed. It's difficult to have that little swing. Germany's got to refocus here and, and just focus on the first contact. That's what Sude needs to worry about right now. Just make the pass, the rest will come. Light, light. Yes! 
Nice high swing off the hands there. It's a good side out. They needed that one. We got Laberer back to serve. Let's see how Canada responds. Here we go. Chantal. Float to Paven. See what she can do here. Drop shot. Laberer's all over it and delivers the cutty. These Germans Just a great are dig right awesome. there. Nice so looking good. soft cut shot after. She hit it really well. As you can see, the dig. Sprawling Laberer. Waits behind the ball and hits a perfect cut shot. That's a highly skilled play. Check out this net view. Perfect cut shot. Love it. Chantal, where will they go? Staying on Pavin. 16 all, big swing over the top. Smart swing. When you're 6'5", you use that shot often. And that's what we've seen all week. When, when Sarah's on the net, passing and setting well, it's, it's just she's unstoppable. The block just is not quite high enough to get that. So that's the focus. Just keep the ball in front. Keep working on side out. 17-16. Here we go. Crunch time. Big side out the Germans are looking for here. Cut shot. Melissa's all over it. Walks into it and then delivers through the block angle. Nice aggressive swing there. Sude was very close to blocking that ball, but yeah. kind of sprays through. But that's the thing. I mean, when you're swinging and being aggressive, you're going to get good bounces here and there. So, and and she had been shooting the rest of the match. So that yeah, maybe there's a delay Sude in that kinda, block, right? Exactly. Suda is kind of coming up a little soft, looking for a shot. You speed it up, and and the hands are just a little off. Here we go. Nice shot right there. 17, 18. One point game as we have a side switch. Germany. That's what Trailing. something Melissa Humanaperta just does so well is just she'll hit, but then she'll come back with you and shoot, and then she'll chop it, then she'll poke it. When you're mixing it up, it's just super difficult to defend, and it just gets frustrating. So she's she's a good person to watch in terms of just mixing it all around the court. Sude jump serve up the middle. Pavin fights it off. She's got a shot here from off the net, but Sude digs it. And can she tie it up? No. Not the set she was looking for. Melissa's all over it, under control. Oh, yeah. And then Sude, almost the same Julia, play, but Sude is ready for the hit that time. A little bit different vibe on her block, where she's a little more aggressive and pressing. She looked a little earlier and just kind of pressed right as she was going over instead of waiting. Just a really good block. Good read. Diving into the angle. Got it with her seam hand, too. Good discipline. She's not a massive blocker, but I've noticed she's just really good with her hands, really good at reading the play. As you saw earlier in that rally, she pulled and made a great dig. Just a fantastic player. 18 all. This is a treat. Sude continuing to jump serve. Haven on the net. This is her bread and butter, but she shoots it right to Chantal Laboureur. And Chantal with another beautiful cut hey, shot. Germany. Little Thank off speed. I don't like that swing from Haven. That's not her. Yeah. Uh, that's not her game. She's got to. She's got to be more hard, aggressive. Maybe. And yeah. she is going to do that line shot, in my opinion. Reach really high, or six five, and snap it down so the defense doesn't have a chance. Absolutely. Good defensive play, though. Here we go. Okay. Another one from Julia. There's a nice shot over the top. Those two swings from Melissa opened it up a bit for her. Defender on it. We got a game here, 19 all, first set. Melissa Humana Paredes back to serve. See if they stay on Sude here. And they do. Wow, look at that vision. She's really feeling good about her game right now. She's looking very confident, making smart shots. We got a set point here, and Laberer back to serve. The Germans just where just they want to be. They go to Paven. There's that aggressive swing. Keep it high. You got a small block, and that's exactly what Tri was talking about in that last play. I mean, you're on the net. Great pass again. That's unstoppable. As you can see here, she's way over the net, swinging super high. A lot Just of a court. Great swing. A lot of court to cover. See if they can capitalize on that with the serving opportunity. Yeah! Oh, into the net. Another set point Big miss right there. Germany. I like that she's going for that. 
That's fine. Now you just have to make sure you side this ball out one play at a time. Here we go. Germans looking to take the first set. There's this nice high swing. They doubled up on the on the angle there, but there's nothing you can do sometimes when she's swinging from that high. Makes you wonder. I mean, she could literally hit that shot high angle, sharp angle, deep angle almost every time and score at her at her height where she's coming from. The, the defense would have to make such a big adjustment to step into that corner that then it would open up the court ridiculously for a ridiculously easy cut shot. Okay. Big serve by Melissa Humana Paredes. And just Getting like Sarah, that. the opportunity just to slam dunk it straight down. Now we got set point for the Canadians. On the good side too. Here we go. Humana Paredes going to Julia Sud on the right side. And a perfect high line delivered. I like that, no hesitation, just trusted her shot. Came in hard and just executed. And that's the most out. important part. I mean, she's giving herself an opportunity to hit that ball and also shoot that ball over the block. Good As high you see, she has to go well arm. over the block there because Sarah's so high. Great shot, veteran play. Laberer back to serve. Good set by Melissa. Oh no! Deep in middle had a shot at us. A little bit of miscommunication there, maybe from the Germans, kind of pulling into where Laberer was standing. Good shot, though. Laberer could have stuck a hand out for it. Maybe thought it was out. Canada with another shot. Ooh, hammer. Oh, yeah. Ball comes into the middle. Right up the, the block doesn't quite front it as much as I think they would have liked. And I think she uh, faked it a little bit again. She kind of right. pretended like she's going to go outside, comes inside, which might just create a little bit more space for her. Smart play by the Germans. Yeah, you make the block work really hard in that situation. 23 all, we're, we're in overtime. Wow. Oh, a good touch. Just a great defensive play by Laberer. Just barely missed it. Melissa saw her breaking to the line as she changed her movement. That's it's a, a nice good touch play. right there. The timing of that is perfect. She just missed it. Here we go. Canada looking for another set point. Germany at the pin. Cut shot and it drops. Well, Sude is showing she has every shot. I mean, it's a nice line over the block, line shot over the block in the last play, and then perfect cut shot right there. Makes you wonder if they should try to serve a ball, maybe potentially at, at Chantal Laberer. I, I feel like they've served exclusively at Sude. Maybe try try one late, late, in the mat, late in the set here. Chantal looking to get their own set point here. Oh. See, Paven's not even swinging around. When she's swinging like that, she's basically going at the defense, over the block and, and past the defender. But and that's what we were talking about, what you brought up. I mean, if she stays in that range, it's just silly to try to serve her. So I think it's smart to keep swinging high, keep giving herself a chance to win this game. Staying on Sude. Here we go. Melissa gets her hand on it, but not enough. Just a side out battle right now. Really high level ball. We're in extra time here, why not? Yeah, this is, uh, there's a reason these two ladies are playing for a medal right, or these four ladies are playing for a medal right now. This is why, they're just so good. 25 all. Ace yes. goes for it. And the ace. What a serve we'll down the middle. The so tough. So many. You see so many balls today scoring down the middle. It's just a tough ball. You, you have to communicate so well with your partner. Sude taking advantage right there. From the right side, she's trying to cut across that middle. She does the same serve, but Pavin takes it. And she's on the other side. Really hard to stop once again. It's a great turn. Good footwork on her approach there, coming to the middle. Giving herself an opportunity to turn it all the way back to the line. Tough ball to defend. Twenty-six all.
This one's middle. Canada with a shot. She's what a got set the set she Tabby. wanted, and of course, Melissa's going to put it away. Melissa. What a wrist. Low line Seven, shot there. Six, Sarah Pavin getting on her horse, sprinting to the back of the court, rolling up Melissa. Just a great hustle, great effort play by Canada. They've got the momentum and set point here. Easy execution seven, there. Seven. These two teams are so good, almost too good. Just Sude is, is just in a really good groove siding out right now. She's coming in, taking a peek, and making a good shot. Yeah, I don't mind the switch of strategy. I like really you were think that about. they should try to switch just, just once or twice. Labber hasn't seen a serve this whole set. Yeah. I love that seam swing, it's so dangerous. As a blocker, that's one of the most frustrating things because your your seam swing is kind of always, I mean, sorry, the seam block is always within your reach. Absolutely. So I feel like if anything, if you know that you could have got your hand on it, it, it's just frustrating to let it go by. But sometimes you got to take chances and get out of that seam and the hitters make a good swing. Sarah Pavin back to serve. Here we go, Sude again. They're really challenging her, and this is probably why. Oh, no. Finally make a dig, and I think maybe a bit of a tough set there. Melissa trying to do a little too much. Sometimes when you pass it perfectly, you, you're expecting that, that perfect set, and when you don't get it, you've already committed your feet and approach to that perfect tight, tighter set, and it kind of screws you up if it's off. Whereas if you're expecting it anywhere, you can have a little better footwork. I agree with you, Try. Here we go. Germans on the line once again. We're in overtime and another ace Suda. from Julia Sude. Oh, Suda just again. coming through for clutch. That's two aces in extra time for her. See if they can take advantage here. 29-28 for Germany. What a set we're having. Keep in mind, people, this is the end of the tournament. They have maxed out the amount of matches that they can play, and they are absolutely balling in overtime right now. Oh. And Pick a good right swing spot. by Pavin. Nice job by Melissa Humana Paradis to get to the net, stay off the net, and push Sarah Pavin up to yeah. the net. It's a great set. Good location there. Chantal's there. I think she'd like to have another crack at that one. 29 all. Tough pass by Sude. And a dig by Pavin. Oh! A sneaky, Beautiful. sneaky dive angle yeah. block by Sude. I like that, because the ball kind of died inside. Watch it, the ball is kind of inside here, so Pavin has to reach. So she knows, just take away that low angle, because that's the easiest swing in that situation. Sometimes it's, def it's just not about how high you need to go, it's just taking the right part of the court. She only got her hands over the net there, but that's what Sarah was hitting, so smart block by Sude. Too good by Melissa Humana Paradez. Waiting for that set, waiting for Chantel to move. What a yeah. shot right there. You really got to be patient on defense and wait. Watch her right now. She's taking a little peek at Chantel. Boom. Frustrating as the set is. No, you might be moving a little too early in that situation. Melissa's on it. Oh, oh. Big rally right there. That was really close. Everyone's working hard. She gets an that, opportunity. She gets that a foot higher. Watch the replay here. If she gets this dig a foot higher, maybe even a few inches. I agree. Sarah, Sarah has a play on it. And I think Sarah didn't think that Melissa would have got there. But yep. if she was ready and, and Melissa gets it a few inches higher, I think they get that. Sude back to serve again. Another jump serve. 31-30. Germans looking for the match. <laughs> Evans. Just close. They're getting close. This is a marathon. And 
Canada with a clutch side out there. Sarah Pavin's making some fantastic shots out of system a little bit in the last few, but still just listening to the call, making good shots. We got Melissa back to serve. On Sude again. To the pin, push set. And that one goes right deep. On the sideline. Who's going to break first? This is just an epic first set. So good. I mean, just what a weekend of volleyball. We're, we're having some crazy, crazy matches. We're in the 30s here in the first set of the bronze medal match for the women. Huntington Beach four star, presented by the AVP. Doesn't get much better than this. You've got to be so strong mentally to hold it down in a situation like this. Both teams playing great right now. And here's an opportunity for the Germans. Can they? Melissa's all over it. Clutch dig, no one up. And oh, she delivers. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is ridiculous. Unbelievable oh, rally. Horrendous. Crazy volleyball right now. Labber is going to want that one back. I think she makes a dig and has an opportunity to oh. have a swing and just keeps it in range of Melissa. Huge play by her. And falling back. Oh, well delivered yes. perfectly. To the middle of the court, she did not have many options there. Sarah Paven, Germans are off the net, good setup, and there's that location we were talking about. Melissa made the read, she's there. If that shot's not perfect, that's they're getting that up, and Canada's probably taking the lead here, but look at this. They're just in Dime. such a good rhythm, the Germans. I mean, I, I don't see why you wouldn't try to give Chantal Labrador a couple serves here, just test her out. I mean, Sude has been on fire. And here she is at the baseline. Having easy read, good call from her partner. Double up in the angle, chopped it line, well, great shot. I don't say this very often, but threes across the board, 33, 33. Replay, easy shot. We got Melissa Humana Paredes back to serve. Canada looking to get a real one and get another set point for themselves. There's a try on Chantal Labrador. Oh, there's that. Oh, Ripping away it's tough. The block, Chantal. They haven't adjusted to the tempo offense. She almost every time she's attacking, she's taking a move one way and moving the other way, trying to, to avoid this six foot five block by Sarah Pavin. Sarah knew what they were doing there. She just got there a split second late. And that's the whole idea of running a set like that. Beat the blocker and the ace. And there it is, it is finally over. Germans outlasting the Canadians in the marathon of the first set. 35-33. The fans are getting their money's worth. Just an absolute battle here. These girls are giving everything that they can. Final match for them. Bronze medal on the line. We're in Huntington Beach. Four star FIVB. Doesn't get much better than this. Came and you've played in, in a fair share of bronze medal matches. What's the mindset going into it? I mean, obviously it's, it's almost more pressure sometimes to play in a bronze medal rather than a gold. Yeah, because you just don't want to finish fourth. Fourth is a tough, tough finish to get. And I I think my only you time finishing fourth try was when you, you and Johnny Hyde beat us at the World this. Tour final. This but way, every other time, I've here. been able to, to win go. the bronze, but on, on the World Tour level, that is. But um, man, it's a tough game to get up for. It's, yeah. You've just lost the semifinal. You're moving on to another medal round, but it, it takes a lot out of you losing that semifinal. So it's all about refocusing. And every, every medal match I've gone into that's a bronze medal match is pretty much just laying it all out there. Play it as hard as you can and see what happens. And it's uh, it's tough, but these girls are giving it everything. It's also a lot different than when we're playing domestically, like on the AVP tour. There's no bronze medal match, so sure. taking but taking a third in an AVP feels like crap. You go out on the world tour and take a bronze medal, you you have to play in that extra match, and you really feel like you earn it. You get some hardware. You're on the podium. It feels a lot better to take a, a bronze medal on the world tour than it does domestically. Yeah, just because you're laying it all out there, you're correct. And, and it also feels a whole lot worse taking a fourth. So it's like, it's tough. Look at this on the Sam Mark Sherman playing games with the fans here. Check them out. This is hilarious. Got 
got a little Hydro Flask game going on on center court. That was a pretty big battle. I think uh, Noah won by a landslide in that, in that game. Anyway, second set coming up. Canada's looking to bounce back here. What a good grind battle in that first set. We've got some stats on the board. Pretty even game all around, except for we're seeing a bunch of aces from the Germans. Five to one. That's where the Canadians need to clean up their game a little bit. A little bit better on the passing, maybe a little more pressure on the serve. And I think they have a good chance here. Let's see what the players have in store for us. I don't know if you can beat that first set, but Here's Canada, starting off with a nice swing to the corner. 1-0, Canada. That's exactly how they wanted to start it coming out of that break. A good high swing to the corner. Got Melissa back to serve. <laughs> Melissa, nice dig, perfect control. But the Germans stay alive. That ball is cold. Ball's down, touched the sand on the dig. Bell says, no way. Looked pretty good on my point of view, but uh, regardless, it German one point. 1-1. One, one. Here's, Here's the, the replay. Dig. You be the judge. Did this touch the sand? Yeah, it might have. It wasn't coming over anyway. Would have been a pretty big argument if it had gone over, I think. Right. We've got Sude back to serve. She's been ripping jump serves. Just Drop shot. It it's just such a high contact that point. It's just, she's sitting in the angle and it's still way too difficult to, to dig. That's where Sarah Pavin's gonna, gonna score all day long. She's back to serve. 2-1, Sarah Pavin. Up the middle, there we go. Labor, they, they didn't go at Chantel, but she passed it and... Uh, a little bit tight. Sude tried to make a play on it, but uh, just out of reach. See if they uh, switch it up a little bit. It's a good start for Canada. Who will they go at? Stay on Sude. And cut shot, she puts it down. They're sticking with their guns. Serving up the seam a little bit, so it, it makes them communicate on that pass. Totally. But for the most part, staying on Julia. She just has such good court vision, similar to Melissa. Like they just kind of jump, yeah. see the court, make a nice shot. Two serving three. Back over to Pavin. Oh, nice read by Chantal Labrador. She stepped into that cutty angle. Yeah, I saw it, a bit of an adjustment there. Stepping into the sharp angle. What a dig that is. Giving her partner a chance to score on two. World-class play right there. It's risky to make that move into the sharp angle because you're opening up so much court, but if it's well-timed, it works. It's a nice shot off the block. You almost, you almost have to if you're playing Sarah Pavin. You almost have to make that risk here and there. Right, Say, right, hey, right. If you, hit a, if you hit a line shot anywhere, you're gonna score. Totally. But I'm gonna get into that sharp angle because I know you like it. I know you like it when it's tight. Um, some players you just got to take those bigger risks against, and, and she's one of them. We got Melissa back to serve. Canada up 4-3, looking to make it 5-3. They're looking good right now. Pavin's going to get a shot at it. And Julia stay, stays home and makes the dig. Germans just relentless. You have to make a perfect play against them or else they're going to make you pay for it. Yeah, they're never going to give you an easy point, and that's what makes this team so great. They grind every single play, and, and they just keep pushing. They stay on you. It's a, it's a tough team to play against. You know it's a steady team when, when they can win a, uh, one of those marathon sets, like 35-33. Totally. Whoa, the sand monster Same grabbed thing. Sarah Pavin by the ankles. Sometimes you just kind of step into a, a weird hole and you can't get your feet under you. Ever happened to you, Cam? Oh yeah, I mean, it's happened to every single player out here at some point, it's just, it's an unfortunate time for it to happen to Sarah, but it's all about how she rebounds right here. Oh, she did not rebound for it. It's such a weird feeling when that happens. Like, 
basically one of your one of your feet go into a hole. There's the ace right there. But like your legs are already extended, so when you go to jump, you have no jump and you just kind of slide into it. Here we go. Oh, two aces in a row. Julia has been, been lethal. Very impressive from the baseline. I mean, all around, siding out crazy What's high level. She's yeah, playing yeah. super well. I mean, we, we, had, we had said she started pretty slow in this game. She looked a little tired. She's really come around. Halfway through that first set, just totally picked it up. Melissa has no chance on that. Canada needs to refocus here. Find a way to get back in this. It's early, 7-4. Just need one side out and then get back to work. Canada. Very much still in this match, but the Germans are looking good, and so is the outside court. Look at this. All our matches today are on the stadium, but there's so much outside in the AVP village, I'll call it. Um, of course, the, the Kona Brew tent is, is, has been the most popular spot for everyone to grab a little bit of a liquid aloha. Grab a beer on the outside court. Come watch some world-class volleyball on the inside court. Oh, and did I mention it's free? Free and not much better than that try. So good. We got Sude back to serve. She's sitting on four aces right now. Melissa having to deal with this set off the net and whoo, squeaks that one past the block. I think she got lucky there. Lucky that the block wasn't a little more disciplined, I'll say. Yeah, she's drifting a bit on that jump, which is which actually makes it tough on the block. Right. But, Definitely but, uh, not an easy block to make, but if she could have shot. She could have kept that hand pressed a little more, she would have got it. They move on, and of course Melissa makes a nice read there. Another one. Big play. Melissa's gonna want to put this one away, and she does not. Some great rally. defense, but no one can put it away. Another one right at the defender. And there's that smart Just play. Just a smart veteran play by Sude. Seeing Pavin right at the net, seeing the open court, going after it. She's kind of like, all right, I'm, I'm sick of us playing patty cake here, hitting it back and forth at the defenders. Let's make the blocker make a move here and stay engaged. You know, they've gone at Laverer a couple times, two or three times here in the second set, and they've had potential potential steals each time. I think they might be onto something. They're just going to need to start converting in transition. That's the Canadians, that is. Oh, here we go. What a good opportunity. I like that pass. Chantal in the backcourt, just pushing it up to the net. Let your, let your attacker kind of just deal with it up there. You know, you always have a chance if it's tight to the net. The attacker is always going to have the advantage. It's just a strong play by the Germans. We got Laberer back to serve again. Canada does not want to let this lead open up. And that ball goes out. Things are getting very difficult for Canada right now, just like their favorite basketball team, the Toronto Raptors. <laughs> Elliot, thanks for reminding me of that <laughs> yet again try as they are down 3-0. This is uh, crunch time right now. We need to come up with some side outs. Pavin puts one down. Get tight done. set. Maybe, maybe uh, not the best pull ever by Sude, just because the ball was drifting so tight. Um, yeah, I, I think mean, you stay up there in that situation. It's a tough, the only tough time ball you're to gonna, get. Only time you're going to drop when it's tight is if, if the ball kind of drops under the tape before the hitters able to get it so you know they got to pop it kind of up and give you time to get there nice. Julia goes right to the defender <laughs> Melissa stays home and then delivers in transition that's exactly what Canada was looking for they finally converted one and uh, great dig by Melissa I like how she was aggressive in transition there swinging hard down the middle smart shot sometimes she's back just, to serve again sometimes you just stay home and less is more right Melissa just kind of Stayed in the same spot and uh, made the easy play. And just like that, the two-point swing. That's Canadians the, are right back in it. That's the ball that, that was dropping in the first set for Julia. She was able to nail that corner. They don't want things to get away from them here, so they're going to slow down that momentum from Canada. Call a timeout. 
take a sip from their hydro flask and get back out there. It's a smart timeout for the Germans. I mean, Suda has been so smooth the whole match. Missed a couple there, probably thinking a tiny bit. Take a little timeout, take a little breath, and uh, refocus. But Canadians are on something, you know. They've been sticking almost exclusively on her the entire match, and uh, it seems to be taking a turn for their for their favor right now. So we'll see how that goes after this timeout. Absolutely, as we see the surfer take one in on the knees. Such a great day here in SoCal. The great Huntington Beach, California, home of the U.S. Open of Surfing, and more importantly, Huntington Beach AVPs. Absolutely, we got pack stands, people enjoying this match. These girls are giving it everything. We got a bronze medal on the line here. We got Melissa Humana Paredes back to serve. See if she can convert one more time here. Canada looking to come back down 8-10, and that one goes out. Germans take a three-point lead. Always tough to miss a serve after a timeout, but she's really going for it. Nice, aggressive, aggressive serve. I don't mind that miss. Just got to side this one out and go back to work. Sude staying with the jump serve. Going to Paven. Oh, there's that low one again. It's only working against her when she goes low. Sharp, low angle. Yep. That's Sude is just a really smart blocker. Taking that little step, floating into that angle. She's just, the balls don't really juggle through her hands very often either. She's just really good with her hands. Very impressive so far. Sude jump serving all week. Yeah, not that to mention jump serving and running up to the net. She's a machine. It's so difficult to do that, and for her to be doing it through that first, the last match of the tournament, they've maxed out the amount of matches they can play. And then she goes into overtime on her first set, and now she's still jump serving going into the second. Very impressive. These athletes have to train really hard to be able to do that, to be able to put your body through that kind of strain and be still explosive at the end of the week. This is a four-day tournament. Just an all-out grind, 48 team double elimination. Seventh and eighth matches for these teams. Perfect weather today, though. Yeah, it's been awesome. I don't have my uh, temperature gauge out, but I'm guessing a solid 70. Solid guess. Thank you. Of course, we can get the official temperature from my trusty iPhone. So true. 67, ladies and gentlemen. I was close. Maybe, uh, you know, I'm up in the booth here, so I got a little breeze on me. It's a little colder. We got Sarah Pavin back to serve. Canada needing a little bit of a run here, but uh, not far behind the Germans right now. Nice serve up the middle, middle making the Germans communicate and make a tough play. Great drop by Sarah Pavin. And that is tricky. She, Melissa tries to push her up to the net, which is what she wanted, but just a little too tight. And yeah, I think, you know, Sarah's coming from so far back in the court that it's just tough to get your feet underneath that ball. She had a shorter approach, maybe she gets a piece of it, but tough play right there on a good dig by Sarah Pavin. Whoa. Looks like Sarah was kind of intentionally pushing Melissa uh, up on two, which usually is a great play, but it, I'm, I'm not sure if Melissa was ready for it. Yeah, it's part of their offense a little bit. They try to spread out their spread out the offense, so Sarah will pass the, to the other side of the court and then push a wide set, as you can kind of see right here. Um, but that was a little bit too forced, in my opinion. That one's going to go on two. Yeah. And there that's when is. they're effective. That's when they're playing well. They're moving the court, moving the ball around. Makes it really tough for a good blocker like Sude to get her feet all the way over. So Not to mention, she's got to be getting tired. She's been jump serving, blocking. Yeah. Eighth match, you know, it's it's a lot. So they're trying to getting tire her out a little every bit. ball. But Canada not doing themselves any favors with these missed serves. So much fire coming from the Germans. They're just bringing it at all times. Sude back to serve, another jump serve coming. 15-10, Canada's gonna have to pull something out soon. And they're kinda in trouble here. Big trouble if Chantal can put this away. 
And she does. Wow. She is fired up. 16-10 as Chantal Labor pumps the crowd up, asks them to make a little noise for her. Big time play by her, as you can see here. Sees the cut shot. Or she, this is her cut shot. Melissa's just out of her reach. Putting it on the lines. Melissa's touching everything, but if you put it on the lines, like we were saying earlier, more times than none, that ball's going down. Julia staying on the jump serve, making Canada communicate on that seam ball. Good serve, and look at that. Keeping it alive off the block. Germans, and they're gonna have another shot here. Wow! Chantal and Julia. Chantal and Julia are just so good right now. Just so steady. Firing on all cylinders. Smart shot, low line. Starts there again with a great block by Yulia Sude. I mean, she's been very impressive with her hands at the net. It's just textbook blocking by her, and she's back to serve again with a good jump serve coming. Oh, wow. They're relentless. 8-10. Just showing how strong this German team can be. They've got a real good chance of taking the bronze home right now. Literally how strong they are. I mean, she's she hasn't lost a step. Sarah Pavin, on the other hand, maybe uh, moving a little slow at the net, uh, from what I've seen. Yeah, Sude's Sude's putting on a serving clinic right now. As I speak, she hits one into the net, <laughs> but that's a big run. I think three or a four point run right there. You'll take that every time. We've got Sarah Pavin back to serve, needing something big here. Sude, no one up, delivers down the line. It's so good. Whether they have a lead or not, they're going to be solid. They're going to do everything right and let the other team make errors. And it is working out very well for them there. Two points away from a bronze medal. Have it on the outside. Ooh, good read too. Yeah, she's there, but that's just go. such a sharp yeah, cutting, tough to something. get. Germany right now, still in complete control here. Germany, See if Melissa can get a bit of a run here, get some point. momentum back for Canada. Wow, what a play that is. Stabby one arm to push it out to Sarah's left. Just a really high athletic play. Nice dig by Melissa Humana Paredes. She's going to need a few more of those. Canadians looking for a miracle here. Germans. They're going to get a shot in transition. And she delivers. Melissa, the 25 year old, delivering for her partner. Another big Shipping play by her. Away at the lead. Canada will not go away. They're, they're a tough team. They'll grind every single point. We got Melissa serving again here. Wrist <laughs> <laughs> away on the outside of the line. What no are you one's going to stop that one. Yeah, what are you going to do? Julia has been an absolute beast in this match. And Chantal complimenting her perfectly. Sude, match point. Going at Paven. And that one, she stays high. She had gone low there, it blocks all over it. Nice high swing there by Sarah Pavin. Pavin. I keep switching between Pavin and Paven. Not sure why. Yeah. <laughs> the Pavin. Pavin. Got Sarah it. Pavin back to serve here. Needing a run. Down 15 20. We got match point for the Germans. Sude with a swing. And she gets blocked. Good start. Sarah That's one Pavin. big block for Sarah Pavin. 16. I like that block. A little more aggressive by Sarah Pavin. But nice looking penetration is over the it net. too little, too late? We shall see. Match point for the Germans. Looking to get on the podium. Overpass. Melissa 
off the antenna, can't keep it alive, and there they are. The Germans are the bronze medal winners in Huntington Beach FIVB. Just a really solid week of playing by them. Such a high level team, so consistent. Great ball all week. They really deserve the medal, I think. And, uh, you know, Canada had a really strong tournament as well. They've won a couple in a row. Um, you know, targets are on their back. They're going to want to come back a little stronger. Next, uh, next week, I think they're going to Brazil. So. Good tournament all around though, and uh, we got some big things coming up as well, so stick around. All smiles for the Germans here in Huntington Beach, and they are happy about it. Great showing by the Canadians. You know, they're, they're used to winning right now, so they're probably not too happy about it, but all in all, a top five finish is not bad. You want to stay up in that top five. Uh, you're having a good year if you're in the top five on the World Absolutely. Tour. But we go down to the interview here on Stadium Court. Julia, Chantal, what an epic, epic match. Great playing by you guys. Congratulations on the bronze medal. What was the key to you guys playing so well? I think we played very aggressive and serve. I had a quite good day with my jump serve. And the wind helped a little bit, so I like to play in the wind to do jump serve. And yeah, it was a very long tournament. We had three games yesterday. And I think you could see the blockers, which had to run all day long to the block. They were very tired, so we could put a lot of pressure on Sarah, so they couldn't really side up. And how do you keep your composure when that first set goes so long and back and forth the whole time? And we always tell each other to be patient because yeah, this calms us down and yeah, gives us a clear mind. And we were very patient <laughs> and we were waiting for the last ace. <laughs> yeah, it was a very hard game. Then <laughs> so long, yeah, to play so long, it's so exhausting and we didn't have a lot of uh, break in between the games, so we are happy. And you used all the KT tape, right? Yes. <laughs> Congratulations on a great win and we'll see you on the podium. Well done, yeah. ladies. Just a fantastic match by the Germans as we Patience. take a look at the stats here. Uh, coming up with seven aces compared to two aces for the Canadians, and that's really the biggest difference in this match, especially in that first set. The Germans were, you know, pushing them to the limit every single point, getting into the deep 30s for points, and uh, just a really fantastic serving match by them, and they sided out really well too as we take a look at some of the highlights of that match. Serving and patience, the key to bronze for the German women. These two men's team right here looking to find that same recipe for themselves. 